In this video, we're going to take a look at the structure of our sorting drag and drop template and how to make a few edits to the file. Basic functionality is as follows. The user drags each of six different draggers to one of three areas, drop zone one, drop zone two, or the trash. When a dragger is dropped, it disappears, and the area it was sorted to changes to provide visual feedback. When all have been dropped, a correct feedback group appears with a congratulatory message, or the score feedback group appears, showing which blocks the user got correct or incorrect. All elements are directly editable and customizable by you. On the simpler end of things, all text is live and editable. Simply click the object you want to change and change it. The dragger text is populated via variables. Visit the set dragger text action to change these. All formatting is fair game, color, stroke, and style. Use the style pane to edit each object's appearance. Make sure you check states when editing. One special note, the trash can is a shape fill. To replace this image, use a transparent PNG or SVG. To set the answers for this interaction, you'll need to access the variables pane. For each dragger variable, enter a value between one to three relative to the drop zone you'd like them to go to.